this is a renee from journal jot and job if this is your first time go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so every time i post you are in the know all right guys today is monday it is february 4th and yes yeah, the day after super bowl and here in metro atlanta we are happy to allow everybody to say goodbye and give us our space back. Yeah, guys, that's how I'm feeling on this morning. I'm a little excited. Traffic will ease up. Yes. But anyway, that's not what we're here for today. We are going to talk about brain dumps. What is a brain dump? Why am I using a brain dump? Do I even need to do a brain dump, right? I just want to start explaining things that we do in the planner community, the journal community, and we need to see if it is a fit or if you just need to ditch it, right? A lot of times we will pick up habits and we don't know why we're doing it. You may be new to the planner community, so it's kind of, I see it, so maybe I'm gonna try it. I am now going to start bringing content so we can understand why we are doing what we are doing. I am a huge advocate for brain dumps. It may work for you, it may not, but I'm gonna explain how I do them and why I do them. So brain dumps, in essence, is... Whatever is floating in your mind, you are going to expel on a sheet of paper. Now, you can do it a couple of ways. I use brain dumps in journal moments. I use brain dumps in planner moments. I'm going to discuss both. So when it comes to using a journal, let's say you don't want to write a journal entry. And you're like, I got a lot on my mind. So I just, I want to get it out. So something I would do is in my B6TN, which is a traveler's notebook, um, it's comparable to the mini happy planner, just in case you want to know what the size is. I would roll to my insert that has, um, this is a grid, not, this is it, this is a grid. This is a grid on one side and this is hexagons, which I like to call the honeycomb layout. So what I would do is let's just say it's like, okay, there are some things that I want to write in a journal. I am simply going to take a pen and I am going to say, I want to write about my goals. So I'm just going to write the word goals down. Then I might want to write about finances. I may want to write about family. my emotions, I may want to write about the ups, and again, when I write these things down, I'm going to know exactly what it's for, the downs, and that's real country with me saying the downs, because that's not what you would say grammatically, but we're not worried about that, this is your own space, and this is what you're going to write, um, so these are some things that I would write down, right, so when things pop up, I can go under this and jot simple words and then I'll know, okay, when it's time for me to write in my journal, that's what I'm going to write. So again, brain dumping is simply expelling things out of your mind that you know that you want to write about. I would simply just write that down. And like I said, if there is something under each category and I just don't want to write about it right now, I can put this in here. When I pull out my everyday journal, my personal journal, then I can reflect on this like, oh, that was something that I want to write. Now, I do keep one in my personal journal, but I have already started pinpointing things in there, and that ain't really for all y'all to see, so I can't turn to that. So I just wanted to give you an idea of how you can write that in your journal. You do not have to have a honeycomb layout to write this down. It's just whatever you write, however you write it. So that's what I do for my journal. So then we go ahead and we talk about brain dumping for planning. I utilize brain dumping monthly, weekly, and daily. I don't do it all the time in that same order, but for the most part, I do that. So with my monthly planner, this is my plum planner, what I did was I did a monthly brain dump. This brain dump is not in order. It was simply, okay, what is it that needs to happen in February for me to feel accomplished or the things that I want to do? So I just started listing, 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 listing. And yes, it looks like a whole lot, but I then broke it down into categories, right? So I said, okay, these are things I just have to do this month. Now, it doesn't mean that I'm going to 
successfully complete every single thing on here, but my goal is to complete over 90% of what's on this list. If I do 100, hey, I can do a cartwheel in my mind and be happy. So that is how I brain dump for the month. Now, what I would do with this list is after I've done this for the month, we're in the first week of February, right? So what I would do for the first week of February, I'm going to go ahead and show you, is I would take a half sheet. Sometimes I can even take a full sheet. It just depends on what you want to write on. And so y'all know I do use Happy Planner still. Um, so in this case, I would pop this on the front of this. I don't know why I have 800 sheets on the front of this. And then I would say, okay, what is it that I need to do for this week right here? And I would just simply list what I need to do. So of course I know I need to film, edit, and upload videos. My son has track practice. And then I can also look on this list and say, is there anything on this list that I need to do this week? And there is, I need to check my son's grades. Um, my no spin has started. So I would just continue listing whatever I need to do for this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on here and then I'll come back and I'll show you what my completed list looks like. All right, y'all, so I wrote out some of the things that I need to accomplish for this week. Just dumped them on out on the paper. Some of the things were pulled from here, and then some things were, oh, okay, I remember I have to do that too. So then what I would do with this list is I would open up my planner. If you're a weekly planner, you would put these in their um, designated spots. If you are a daily planner, you would place them where they need to go. Some people, their brain dump could serve as their list for the week. So it's just what you want to do with the list. Um, it's an easy way to get things out of your mind. A lot of times we'll say, oh, I remember that. Yeah, and I don't need to write it down. I have a lot of honestly close family uh, members and friends that are like, I don't need a planner. I don't need this. And then the next thing you know, it's like, oh, dang, I forgot about that. And I'm just like, mm. yeah, girl, if you would have had a planner. And so here is the thing. You can do this digitally as well. So there is a misconception that planning has to happen on paper. For me, writing it out makes me remember a little bit more. When I put stuff digitally, unless I set an alarm to it, your girl's not going to remember it at all. However, brain dumping, again, can occur in your memo notes, in your phone. You have um, your Google app with your Gmail. They have so many different apps attached to that as well. So as long as you are getting the things out of your mind, that is the productivity side of brain dumping. And I think it would be really useful. So I would encourage you to try it. Try it out for a week. Write everything out that you need to do and see if you're more productive in reaching and accomplishing your goals by setting those tasks. Because the thing is, you can set goals all day long, but if you're not putting action to those goals, they're just not gonna happen. So that is the reason I like brain dumping. So I hope this information was useful. If it was useful to you, make sure you put it down in the comments and let me know. If you do brain dumping, put it in the comments also. If you have some questions, put it in the comments. Again, I am here to bring the content that you need so that you can have a productive life. And on the inside of that, after you brain dump, you can accomplish those goals and then you journal about it. So that's the whole component of journal, jot, and jive. When you journal, you're getting those ideas and thoughts written out so you can reflect back on those. The jot aspect is going to be your planning and the jive is putting those plans into action. So until next time. Mm -hmm.